Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain to you how to create a GPO and apply it, to domain users to prevent them from opening or using the PowerShell window, and we will learn step by step how to block domain users, from opening the PowerShell. The default mode enables domain users, to use PowerShell, but if you want to prevent them from doing so, you must create a policy and apply it to domain users, that you want to prevent from opening PowerShell. Well, open the server manager dashboard and click on tools menu then select group policy management after that expand the forest and select the domain that you will work on then right click on the organizational unit to which you want to apply the policy and from the menu select create a gpo in this domain and link it here then enter an appropriate name for this policy so that you can access it easily and click the ok button then right click on GPO you just created, and select edit. This will open the group policy management editor window. After that, expand the folders from the left side, to open the pack that select appears additional in the you on the screen, and I will leave the pack for you in the description of the video. Then right click on the software restriction policies folder, and select new software restriction policies. Then expand software restriction policies, and select additional rules. Then right click on the other side, and select new path rule. Click on the browse button, and specify the path to the PowerShell, as it appears in front of you on the screen. And I will leave the path for you in the video description. After entering the path to PowerShell, set the security level to disallowed, then click the apply button, and OK. With this step, the creation of this policy was completed. You can now close the group policy management editor window. I will now open the client computer, to verify that this policy is applied to domain users. Restart the client computer to ensure that the policy is applied, to the user. After that, try to open the PowerShell window. A message will appear telling you, that this application has been blocked by your system administrator, which means that domain users have already been blocked from opening, or using PowerShell. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.